Leah. Hi. It, she's excited. Oh my god, I'm so excited. It is Sunday for us. Um, if you watched yesterday's vlog, it was our 1,000th subscriber celebration. Yeah. Thank you so much for those of you who participated and to those of you who I even watched it after the fact. It was pretty amazing. Yeah, Mark. Um, Great time. Emma got some stuff in the mail. She's really, Sorry. really excited. I want um, to talk about the other stuff before I get... The my stuff's not that exciting. Can I talk about my stuff? Yeah, of course. Um, First of all, I got some stuff in the mail. What I got, once again, like I said, not exciting at all. Mm. I received, this wasn't sent to us, we purchased it. There are 50 of these things in here. Wait, am I missing stuff? Where's the cap I for it? Separate. Right, but there's supposed to be a cap for it. We'll look later on, but these are dropper bottles. What I want to do is replace the Games Workshop um, paint pots with these dropper bottles instead. Um, it just makes using the paint a little more easier. So, okay, here we go. Here, so here's a dropper bottle. This just screws on. There's a piece missing still. There's supposed to be another part. All right, well, there's some stuff in here. I might be missing stuff, but dropper bottles. I have 50 of these that I need to play with. Okay. I also have some flow aid which will help me take the paint out of the Games Workshop bottles and put them in here. Once again, the Games Workshop bottles are great, but the thing is they're hard to, they're not hard to seal, but they don't get a great seal sometimes and the paint will dry out. So these dropper bottles are supposed to help with that. That was my big thing today. No, no, no. That was not your big thing my today. My big? Oh, that was a thing today. No, no, no. The big thing today was that Eric discovered you can play two-player D&D. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so he discovered this around 10.30 this morning, and I literally spent the next six hours... I don't know why you didn't look this up. I just assumed that you could play two times. I was Two sitting players. around I, and I legitimately, thought... Legitimately, I assumed you have to have a party of people. I sat around and I thought, okay, Emma, all she does is talk about, I wish I could DM now, I want to DM now, yet she's nervous about DMing for the first time without people. Well, with people, because she doesn't know. She doesn't know, no, so she's stressed I, out. So I, I quickly... I just want to do a really good job. I want it to be a really immersive experience for everyone. I want everyone to role play. I want everyone to have a good time. And I want it to be a successful adventure. Like, sure. I'm not the type of DM that's ever going to want there to be a TPK. Like, I don't want there to be the party... Right. Everyone in the party but dies. But the whole thing is, it's just, it's just for her to do this for the first time, and it went horribly wrong. I did the, the natural thing, which was ask Google, hey, is there a two-player D&D &D game? And yes. Evidently, you can play D&D &D two-player. So how, how two-player D&D works is she's going to be the DM. I would be the player. She will also have a player. And there could also be... Um, I yawned. That's the first time since there, we got to the battle. There could also be NPCs in the game. Who assist. Non-player so like, controlled al characters. Allies or some sort of like paid... So how it works is I would make all the decisions and her character would just follow along with whatever I do. Yes. It's not the same, but it's something to kind of get her feet wet. Um right. So what? So that's our big thing. So we create so, some characters. So we build characters today. Who's your character? Uh, you my character is Sora Nimonis. Uh, she is a dragonborn paladin, um, and that is who I will be playing in this two-player campaign. And this guy right here is playing. I'm Zalasar Nimonis. We who are. Is my brother. We are related. Um, thus, we are both dragonborn. We're both dragonborn, and it's pretty cool because you went with a lawful good character. Yes. And I went with a neutral good character. Would you like to say what your class is? Uh, um, my class is a sorcerer. You yes. are a paladin. Paladin. So my big thing with my character, which I think is kind of cool. Um, we spent the afternoon building out our characters. We did. Eric did a good job of sitting and working with the player's handbook and me building out his character. This is the only really like 
the first time and a half that you've really built it. It's true. So my character backstory is I needed a quiet place to work on my manifesto. Um, my personality traits, oblivious to etiquette and social expectations, fantastic. My ideals are live and let live because if I get involved in other people's lives and problems, I make it worse. Um, bonds is great insight to great evil that only I can destroy. So that was my whole thing. Like there's, in, there's evil out there that I need to destroy. The other thing is I harbor dark, bloodthirsty uh, tendencies that my isolation and meditation failed to quell. So the way that I see it, we are brother sister characters. I am the older sibling. Mm -hmm. I took to the faith. I am a um, paladin who revere, and, and I'm an acolyte um, of Bahamut. And I very deeply revere Bahamut. However, uh, I was labeled a heretic by a corrupt uh, hierarchy of clerics within our uh, world. He, however, left our family early on so that he could go do whatever the hell it was that he was doing. So I have now left our family and I am searching for my brother so that we can, I can find him, one, and then that we can start working together because I've always had a fondness for him and hopefully I can get him to help me um, destroy evil in the world because I am lawful good. I want to solve the world's problems and I want to be a good person and a good everything. Um, I idolize a particular hero of my faith and I constantly refer to that person's deeds and examples. I have to figure out who that is. Uh, I think that ancient traditions must be upheld and preserved. Um, my piety sometimes leads me to blindly trust those who professed faith in my God, which is how I got into a situation where uh, the corrupt temple hierarchy branded me a heretic. One day I will get revenge. And I honestly think that my character will end up taking uh, an oath that allows them to fight shit and destroy shit. I find it interesting because I feel like my character is very much kind of looking up to his older sibling yeah. on, on being a good person. But when I went to kind of study, I found out that I am kind of evil. Not a good person. I'm not a good person. You're um, a good person. You just aren't as good as the rest of us were. So you well, felt like you right. Were evil. So there's this whole thing of wanting to defeat evil. Yet I feel like I might be struggling because I am evil, um, and I don't know. Like there's a good chance I feel like that I might kill you. Please don't kill me. Well, I don't know what's going to happen. I, I'm struggling with stuff. So that's cool with that. What else did you get today? Um, so today... You got this. I got... This was supposed to come tomorrow. This is, this is got, nothing. This is... This is a piece of cardboard. This is exactly what I needed. This is a piece of cardboard. I was actually... I thought we were going to play today, not knowing how long it was going to take us. I painted. So like, I painted Warhammer painted stuff. painted a lot today. All of my miniatures Just are on this. bases. So that means tomorrow we're painting. No, 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 we're playing. We're playing. That's, it, it, I knew it began with a P. All right. So, I don't need that. This is... Oh, that's cute. It's a poster. Yeah. Okay. I don't need the poster. This is what I spent this, money on. This, no. This is all my it is. It's a divider. Screen. That's all it is. Oh, it has information. Yeah, that's why you get it. Okay. It's because it has information about, Can we like, show what it has? No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It has information on the side... All the things that I need to know to be a DM. That's very cool. You didn't know that? No, I didn't know. Other no, you're not reminded. just buying a piece of Can I open it? this up? No. The yes. last thing we got was Which also this. plays into this. Of course. So this was also supposed to come tomorrow. Everything came today. Super exciting. Um, that's nothing. Here is yours. We have... Wait, how many did you order? I ordered two. Oh my goodness. I didn't know that. All right. So, we ordered some more dice. More dice. Because we didn't have enough. So, I have teal and I have purple. Um, These the, are pink. These don't look red. Does that look red to you? Reddish. Reddish. So, I got some dice. They're supposed to be red. They so, look the pink. thing with these These dice, are not red. Well, would you like to paint them red? Do you I will paint them. 
So the thing with these dice, these are very special dice. These are from Game Science. Um, so the thing about Game Science is that these are all supposedly supposedly very well balanced dice. So you should have equal luck for all things when rolling, except when you have to roll on the, the table. table. Nineteen is a very good roll to start, everyone. So yeah, 16. these are, these we have. Eight. This is a good die. I like this one. I have some metal dice. 20. I, I rolled a natural 20. That's it. For the very Way first one. For You're the very, very first one for this what purple die, I rolled a natural 20. What Those are, these? are, are they stone? Obsidian? Stone, obsidian no. I, or something. Like something. I have metal, we have obsidian, and then these are pretty much just so acrylic. These are, these are, yeah, these are acrylic, but they are designed specifically to be perfectly balanced. That Supposedly, is we will do a test to see if these are they, the internet says this is pink okay we'll paint them again i don't care um the point being the point being these are supposed to be balanced and we'll see how that is because metal dice are notoriously unbalanced and eric now has metal dice i have a lot of just chess x regular dice but I really wanted some, because they haven't been rolling well for me, I really wanted some that are supposed to be well balanced. And now I have some really pretty jewel tones. They look so nice together. I mean, look at these. They are they freaking are cool. gorgeous together. Except mine have pink and they were supposed to be red. Well, that sounds like a personal problem. That, that is a personal problem. Um, she's gonna sit here and roll dice all day. So we're gonna stop her very <sighs> quickly. And that was our big thing today. That is how we're spending. Yeah, we we um we spent most of the day being nerds. Yes, is rolling anyone, up players. Anyone surprised? Painting and getting dice. So I think that's gonna be it. While Emma starts reading, which you shouldn't because we're doing something right now. Sorry. <laughs> All right, guys. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you had a great day. Do not forget to like and subscribe if you like watching things like this. Or just us in general, because we're pretty cool too. If you want to watch Emma read while we're recording, yeah, you should why totally not? subscribe. Because she does odd things like that occasionally. All the time. Alright. That's it. Have a great day. We will talk to you next time. Talk to you later. Bye guys. <laughs>